Okay, last time around, I got a little bit into the idea of some costs being proportional to the amount of business you do, direct costs, and other costs not being proportional to the amount of business you do. And sometimes this is called the distinction between a direct cost and an overhead cost. That is how an, ac an accountant will typically describe these things. Economists generally use the phrase variable cost versus fixed cost. Mostly the, the distinction here is the same. Variable costs are costs that are proportional or vary to the level of production or activity. Fixed costs are costs that are not proportionate to the level of activity or level of production. And the prime example of a fixed cost would be something like rent, thus the idea of overhead costs, because you're keeping that rent, that rent is keeping a roof over your head. So, but there could be tricky cases. In many cases, in say for instance, if you're renting a space in a mall or something like that, your rent might be proportional to your sales, so that Firms which have more sales pay more rent, and firms that have uh, less sales have lower rent. So, normal rent contract, which is fixed, would be over here. On the other hand, if the rent is a, is a proportion of your sales or a cut of your sales, rent that uh, changes with sales, well, the portion of the rent that changes with your sales would be a direct or variable cost. Cost of goods itself how much it ta how much it takes to buy the goods from suppliers or manufacture them yourself, these are clearly part of your variable cost because you know, if you stock more sweaters or if you grow more corn and plant more corn and put more fertilizer on it, then that's going to cause your cost to increase as you increase your quantity of, of the activity. On the other hand, finance costs are typically part of fixed costs. Even if the finance costs vary up and down because interest rates in the market are varying up and down. So even if the interest rate is variable. Now that is kind of confusing, right? How can something be variable yet of fixed costs? Because the key distinction here is whether or not things are fixed or varying when the level of production or activity changes. So, because the changes in your finance costs are not related to your level of production or activity, they're related to just stuff going on out there in financial markets, they are called a fixed cost rather than a variable cost. The reason why we're splitting these things up this way is that when a firm is deciding whether or not something is a profitable unit of production, the important distinction is, does it cause my costs to increase by more or less than the additional revenue it brings in? So only the costs 
that are related to my level of production are the key decision-making costs at that point here. If there's random fluctuation in other costs out there, and that fluctuation is essentially outside of my control, then in many ways that's actually not really important for my decision-making process. So if there's you know, sometimes cold months and my utility bill is really high because of that, and my utility bill just kind of bounces around because of that, that's not a key thing for deciding that variability, that randomness that's happening over there, is not going to be a key decision-making factor as to whether or not I should try to produce 120 widgets or 150 widgets to maximize profit. It's just sort of random noise. Likewise, um, if we're going to go ahead and see that something like, if the manager's salary is normally fixed, but to increase production, I have to pay the manager overtime, even though they're not directly engaged in the production of the goods, that incremental increase in costs would be a variable cost. So sometimes this distinction gets a little bit tricky. And in particular, there's the example of what is sometimes called a quasi-fixed cost that lies between these two. And a quasi-fixed cost would be something like the following. Suppose you have a telephone line, and suppose it's like a 1-800 number. And you might pay $100 a month just to have that 1-800 number exist. But you're taking orders, people are phoning in and placing orders with your company. And let's suppose that on average, when someone phones in to place an order, that phone call costs you an additional $1. Well, the $100 to have the line at all is a fixed cost. The $1 per call is part of your variable costs. So that's how we break down that distinction. From now we'll go ahead and put that video segment to an end.